Hey guys, it's Jade. I'm here to do my 11 week update. I am in Milani's room right now. She's playing, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna try to make this quick. There's not a whole lot to talk about. So, um, so yeah, this past 11 weeks has gone by so fast. Like I think back to when I was pregnant with her and it seemed like 11 weeks took forever to come. Probably because I was super, super sick, you know, and time just drags by. But, like, I can't believe I'm almost 11 weeks. It's going by super duper fast. It's really crazy. So, um, yay for time going by fast, I suppose. That's good. Um, my symptoms from last week basically have been the same. Um, the headaches picked up a lot. And they were really, really bad, like, killing me. So, I just went and bought some regular strength Tylenol and took that when I when I really felt like I needed to um, and so yeah but the headaches were bad and it's so weird because in one of my books that I'm, I have <laughs> this is the week that they start you know talking about headaches no Milani don't touch this baby um, talking about headaches as a symptom and blah 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 but um, with that my nausea hasn't been that bad which is good basically only if I don't get enough sleep or if I'm like super duper duper hungry or if I ate too much. That's really weird. Don't touch that mama. Okay? So come play with your balls. So anyways, um, I've been really tired still and taking naps like almost every day when I can. Um, and I've been having crazy weird dreams still. Like really, really, really weird dreams. And so other than that, symptoms have been pretty low-key I guess I'm not really complaining too much except for the headaches but I can definitely say that I'm like 95% sh sure that the headaches were mainly due to stress because I have been really stressed like this past weekend and in my intelligent video I said I had a crazy weekend you know so um, yeah and basically to make it a, not give too much details but let you guys know it's basically like family issues you know with my whole situation it seems like it's not settling well with certain people, which I really don't care, but it's, you know, you know how people talk and uh, anyways, it just has been stressing me out and so I'm glad that week is over with so I can just move on. I really don't care what anybody thinks about whatever. Uh, I'm happy with my situation, with my life, so that's all that matters. So, um, I haven't really had any cravings the past week. Um, the only thing that I have been wanting is Fruit Loops cereal, but like I'm a cereal person anyway, so that's not that abnormal for me. And then let's see, what else? Oh, so like I said, I've been stressed out about family stuff, but I've also been stressed out with just trying to make plans for when this new baby comes. Like our lease is going to be up at the end of August and we're definitely not going to stay here where we live right now so we're going to have to find something. My boyfriend goes on internship for his program that he's in this summer so he'll be gone for two months um, from about June to <laughs> Milani likes to crawl backwards it's hilarious from June to August so and in between that time we have to find somewhere else to live I have to figure out what I'm going to do with school I was supposed to be starting a bachelor's program this fall, but I'm due in the middle of that quarter, so I don't know if I'm going to wait to start the next quarter, if I'm going to get a job. Like, It's just so much stuff, and a lot of plans need to be made, and it's super, like, I don't know, stressful. Um, but I'm sure everything will be figured out. I don't know. It's hard because I feel like, oh, I need to be working, I need to be whatever, whatever, but at the same time, I'm so close to being able to really do school like I should have done years ago you know like right out of high school and I'm making up for lost time but I don't know I have to figure that out I'm sure it'll work out work itself out so anywho um I wanted to ask you guys um if you guys have any like questions for me or like video requests you know about whatever like about my family or anything really um, let me know because I if I after a while if I get enough questions I'll do a, you know like a question and answer video or whatever because it's I come in here and I talk about pregnancy and da 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 but there's so much more to my life or just to you know everything than just you know these weeks of pregnancy passing by but anyways if you guys want to you can leave me a comment send me a message if you have any questions or whatever um, 
and let's see I have a doctor's appointment next Thursday I did opt to do the um, like the early genetic screening or whatever so they can see if you're at risk for certain like Down syndrome and trisomy 18 or something like that um, basically um, as long as my insurance covers it if my insurance covers for I decide to go on ahead and do it no little girl I decided to go on ahead and do it and yeah so hopefully my doctor's appointment will be next week I'll have an ultrasound and we'll do some blood work and then four weeks after that or something like that I have another ultrasound so that's coming up and this is another thing I want to talk to you guys about because belly shots like I'm be I'll be honest I do not feel like super comfortable like woo, here's my belly do 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 you know what I mean because I mean I have extra baby weight left over I have stretch marks I have all that stuff I don't really feel comfortable with like doing that every time like I guess I can show through my shirt you know what I mean but I don't really know about the whole like whoop here you go you know but I don't know if people really even care I mean I I don't know you guys just let me know if it doesn't matter then I won't have to, I won't like pressure myself about it but if I'm making these videos stop Milani I don't want to feel like obligated to do something I'm not comfortable with you know so I'll show you guys that I just bought this little maternity shirt from Old Navy it was ten dollars now <coughs> Milani don't touch the camera so it's kind of it's definitely big um so it's like you know extra long and loose in the front extra material or whatever so but it's comfortable and I just put on some yoga pants so I don't really feel I always can never really figure out how to position myself it's basically nothing you know just regular I mean I definitely feel like I'm starting to grow like I can tell down in here or whatever but it's hard because it's basically just like I'm gaining weight or something like I'm just getting fat but really I haven't even gained any weight so I know it's baby baby stuff moving around but it's just you know it's like at that point where it's still just like oh Miss Chunky over there her belly's getting kind of big so which I, I don't even freaking care about whatever because I know eventually I'm gonna start showing I'm gonna look pregnant like that's not a big deal to me but because last time I was like oh my god when am I gonna start showing when is my belly gonna be out and I don't just look fat you know but now I don't freaking care so anyways I did buy a couple of um, new maternity things um, well not even maternity just shirts I can probably wear while being pregnant oh Milani this crazy little girl <laughs> um, so yeah anyways let me know if you guys have any video requests or questions for me and I'll try to get something up about that school starts next quarter I mean <laughs> school starts next week for this last quarter for me so that's exciting so, anywho, I will talk to you guys later um, for 12 weeks. 12 weeks, that's crazy. And then, you know, you know how it goes. So, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm kind of blah today, so I'm sorry. Um, but I hope everyone's doing good. Leave me a message or comment if you have questions for me. Thank you to my new subscribers. My new subscribers. Milani, baby, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So, oh, you guys, this is Milani's room. I want to show you guys. This is what I made for Milani for her wall. And I'm going to do something similar with the next baby. I'm, like I said, I'm assuming it's a boy. So I'll probably do boy colors, obviously. That's like a little collage thing I made one time. But yeah, I'm going to do something like that once, you know, I pick out a name and I know it's a boy and all that jazz. So. Anywho, I will talk to all y'all later. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get to this crazy little baby now. All right, bye.